Hello students, welcome to Shore of Sir classes. Today our question is about the mechanism. Which of the following mechanism that is used by human pathogen to evade host immuno response? So the main thing is host immuno response. And which of this following option are the mechanism that is used in human pathogen to evade host immuno responses right so now i am moving to the answer so according to the question what is infectious agent or pathogen so infectious agent that starts infection or inflammation that starts infection okay now this is the common thing that strategy to evade immune system that we have asked here to evade immune system so now what is the thing one way in which pathogen evade immune system suppose this is a pathogen that evades a immune system okay this is a immune system a pathogen evade through it so now the system is altering its antigen or by altering its surface protein so what happens next next is altering its antigen or surface protein or surface protein so either they alter antigen i should write it like this okay wait Okay, I'm just erasing it for you. Okay. okay, now antigen or surface protein. Okay, so what happens? This is called this alteration of antigen or alteration of surface protein is called as antigen variation antigen variation okay so there is the option option a says that is somatic hypermutation this is not b says antibody production no c is antigenic variation and that is the answer and third one was the complement activation that is also wrong because when a pathogen evades through a immune system that alters antigen or surface protein and that is called this let me change the color for you okay that is called this so this is the thing and the answer will be this antigen variation now moving to the next question okay so this question looks like so big and huge but this is really a very easy question if you just go through it if it is a really easiest question i have ever seen look the question we have asked here is the nucleotide percentage composition percentage has given that is a that is adenine equals to 10 urcl 20 c so i mean equals to 40 and the G guanine th so now here these are the following genome so the question we have asked here which one of the following genome is this that have the percentage composition percentage nucleotide composition percentage of this adenine 10 uracil 20 
Cytus in 40 and Guan in 30. Now, if you just remember, according to the Shargov's law, let me write it for you. According to the Chargov's law, what we know, A T is same amount of nucleotide or in case of RNA, that is adenine is equal to uracil, that is equal sign, not the double bond sign, okay, equals to uracil same right and the uh, in case of guanine that is guanine is also equal to the cytosine amount so there is a different amount that is a is 10 uracil is 20 cytosine is 40 and guanine is 30 so that doesn't obey the Shargov's law but it has to obey the Shargov's law Shargov says that organism have 1 is to 1 during pyramidine basis so as in this question there are the each base equation is different so the genome must be the single stranded and there is the answer the genome that is answer is option b that is single stranded rna as it has been given uracil instead of thymine so thank you for watching this video